Hello there, in this video I'm going to be showing you, I mean, creating together a new power move including new animation, new particle effects, new camera effects and probably some new details, I mean, we'll um, find out in the way. So my game's called Empty Space, it's out now, you can just go ahead and download it for free at the moment, play it uh, on your Android devices. If you have any feedback, please share it with me, I'd be more than happy to um, know all the bugs, all the problems in my game and fix it. Uh, the link's in the description and um, right now I'm just going to be explaining what a power move is in my game. So let's play it. I have a button right here, it's called um, the power button and if I uh, press it, so I have an enemy here, I press it, all the enemies around me are going to be killed with that just one button. It's, it's, it costs something though, it's not free in the game, but it's cool. So now I want another animation, another, uh, an entirely different effect for it. So it's gonna take a while though. <laughs> So first of all, I what do I need? I need a new animation. Um, I need an animontage from it. Um, as far as I can remember, I started using Mixemo animations. So zombie. Yeah, I need the zombie skeleton mesh in Mixemo. So if I type in Mixemo, I have to go ahead and log in, continue with my Google. So I found it, it's um, very inefficient, but if your character is different, the animations wouldn't work, so the skeleton mesh and everything will be different. I need to go into the characters and find exactly the zombie character and continue using that. So, where is the zombie character? As far as I'm concerned, it's not a problem. This is the pirate character. It's not a zombie character, though. And once I'm done, I'm probably going to... So, I what I'm thinking right now is that I need an effect that is like throwing a fireball, probably. So, let's start with that. Um, maybe fire. Let's see what we end up... Oh, no. It's not the fire in it. Throw is not what I need. Maybe throw... Throw objects, but I... huh? That looks like something. Maybe if I could start from here. Yeah, uh, fifty-one. It's got a problem though, it's super long, it's gonna, um, the size is gonna be a problem, so I don't know if I'm going to be using it to be honest. Maybe using only the overdrive. Yep, that's better. And I know that I have to. Make the character arm, arm space a little bit wider so they don't contact with the body. Okay, this looks cool. So, the character is throwing something, a uh, fireball or something. The animation is on the ground because I'm not right now, I'm not using any root motion. I don't want to get myself um, in trouble with that. I, I mean, I haven't started using root motion. I haven't done the fixing blender and so on so I I don't intend to 
use it. Okay, this is going to be my animation. Content drawer. Um, I need the animation. Is it done? Yeah, it's done. So throw objects. It's going here. I don't want to import the mesh. Um, and I. The length is exported time and everything should be default. Okay. Throw object. Okay, this is cool. This is super cool. So now I have to retarget my animation. I'm I have uh, explained a lot about this retargeting animations in Unreal Engine 5. It's a new feature in Unreal Engine 5. Um you can find it, just go ahead in my channel, type in retarget and you'll find a lot of useful stuff, a lot of useful videos about it. It's easy, it's super easy to um, implement. You, it's, it's a one thing to do, so you just create the asset for ret retargeting animation and you'll just use that asset, there's nothing complicated about it. So right click, I need to retarget it, um, retargeter, what was it? If I know, I hope this one's gonna work though. The target. Okay. Fingers crossed for it. Oh, it did work. Oh, that, that's that's super cool. But the <laughs> the arms are super wide, so I need to fix that. Maybe I should reset it. Maybe the default width was better okay download I, I have to re-import okay it's done um so through through object one everything is a default import wait for the import process to be finished I guess yes this should work right click um, retarget animation asset uh, Mixamo IK retargeter I've already created it it's the exact process I have already explained a thousand times in my channel so you can again find stuff about it it's already super wide, but it doesn't matter, to be honest. Oh, by the way, I'm using MetaHumans and MetaHuman schedule. I mean, the whole animation process is based on the UE5 mannequin. It's a rather easy process to um, to implement, so I've used that. I haven't done anything fancy, to be honest. Okay, so I just need to... I have this one right here. I just need to move this to my animation folder and I should be golden. I could not rename okay I, I don't care. Just right click um create an animontage and this is the animontage I have. Okay, so now I need to go into the um, where my magic happens so I should find it here maybe I should type magic here and find where my magic happens okay so I have this one uh, this is my magic button because every time I press this one the power button I just drag this one in and unpress we're working on Android, we should be using unpressed, unclick, doesn't work most of the times. And I'm uh, casting to a third person character, get play a character to magic, and magic comes here. So what I want to do is, later on, I want to have a shop, I have a uh, have an economy, I have, have some, I have some currencies in the game, uh, I have Rossbox, with Rossbox you can buy quantum cores, with quantum cores you can... 
um, executes magic uh, and we don't only have one magic we will have a lot of magics in the game so I need a way to be able to choose between them so if the, if the player uh, if the player wants to ju do this kind of magic today then we need to know that if the player pushes that button uh, the same power button today the magic they want will be appearing in the game so the way I'll do that I suppose is by using an integer it's the easiest way to do it so I should say select so in input add a select and a switch on int this is the zero and this is where we are going to be starting so the first thing that happens is playing the animation uh, animation no any montage play any montage what any montage we just created one so we have the any montage here um, I'll have to um, change this one as well or probably I should just be yeah I guess that's a better idea so instead of having this here I should just remove this okay and I'll probably encounter problems here as well I didn't that's good um, and then promote this one to a variable it's going to be called magic selection okay this gives me more control so now magic selection is set to zero which is our default power move but we want to try something new so one should be the play any montage and let's try it okay so this works but I can move with it I don't want that this is the first thing we need to fix um, so to do that I'm going to be using the character movement set movement mode to on um, and then maybe we could use this one as a delay so just wait until this one's finished and then copy and paste this control C control V um, and then go back to walking afterwards yes that's awesome so I'm already doing this just look it doesn't move until it finishes that's cool so now we should throw something okay what should we throw so we could really throw something something like a projectile but I believe that's not gonna be really optimized in performance so instead I would like to create a Niagara effect for it. Or should I? Yeah, a Niagara effect would be really nice. So I have a. I've created a lot of effects for this game. So in my Sara content, in particles, I have some effects that I can easily just use. Uh, the NS Fire, what is this? No, not this one. I should be having a shot fire. Hmm. I could probably use this one. It's got that fire and smoke all together and can go all the way. Um it won't be processed by CPU, it's a yeah, it's a GPU particle, so it's gonna be nice. So this one's gonna be what I'm going to be duplicating. So right click, duplicate, I'm going to type it, 
magic shot. Bang. It's very simple though. I'm going to um, make it the loop behavior should be infinite. All properties should be GPU just because we want the game to be optimized as hell. Uh, interpolated spawning should be set to uh, should be enabled. Sim target GPU compute sim. You should set the uh, fixed bounds by the system. Um, and then loop behavior is I don't need that. I want to spawn rate instead. That's better. Maybe I could have. And then initialize particle. Lifetime min and max are too low. It looks okay. It's, it's not good. Maybe two for the spawn particle. Actually, should it go up? To be honest. So initialize particle. It should. I should leave a little bit longer. Um, I'm using a sub UV animation, so if you come here, sub UV animation, I'm using that. Um, the sub UV lookup in the scale. Uh, okay, this looks much better. I'm using this effect. So I've created a texture. Oh, I haven't created the texture. I downloaded the texture. I, if you want to create a texture, there's a thousand times of doing it. I've created a video again <laughs> in my channel. It's called um, Creating a Texture with Niagara, Baking a Texture with Niagara Fluids. If you just go ahead and search for it, you'll find a lot of stuff about it. We could do that. We could create a Niagara Fluid simulation and then bake stuff, bake textures, flip animations from it, or download something that's the easiest way to do it or if you're working with Houdini you can do that as well you can make an animation in Houdini as well uh, you just get the texture in multiply it uh, by the particle color because we're working on a particle system multiply it by the depth fade because we're going to be using it as a transparent material this one goes to the opacity um, since it's a fire I'm using a black body so I'm multiplying by uh, 2500 uh, and then it goes to the black body and then into the MSFD. Uh, material domain is additive and unlit since we're working on mobile pro um, optimization is pretty important. And that's it, it's pretty simple. Um, okay, initial is particle. So I'm... Position mode is on set, definitely. Size, min and max, I have no idea about that one yet, I'll have to test and learn about it more. Add velocity, I added a velocity, so if you type in velocity here. The velocity is not what I like at the moment, so... I should do something about it, this looks pretty damn cool. Um... You know what, maybe we should use a projectile for this, because this looks really, really cool. So let me, um, I don't, I mean, if I'm using velocity, it's not based on the world position, sometimes it goes left, sometimes it goes right, it's not gonna work that well, so I think, yeah, projectile is gonna be better. I'm using a scale, col scale color as well to fade in and fade out, so this one's zero. Uh, it's float from curve, zero, one, zero again, and scale curve to maybe it should be one, so it's more obvious. Uh, sprite renderer, fade, it's always facing camera and so on. Same goes with the smoke as well as so I just have to fix everything uh, 
loop behavior. Also, I want it to be always visible. So, it's just because it's pretty important for the gameplay. Initialize particle. Uh, lifetime min and max should be pretty. Um, something like 2 5 would be cool. Velocity, I don't want any velocity to be honest. Um, and sub UV animation, um, don't do much. I believe it's still too small. Not seeing anything. Okay, why am I not seeing? Oh, because I haven't great spawn rate, so I have to spawn something. So maybe two would be nice. But it doesn't look cool, does it? 40, 60. Okay, it looks a little bit better. It's not it's not really what I'm looking for though. Um it should be a little bit faster. Again, the same material goes for this one. Uh, it's just a smoke material I had created for Unity a while ago. You can again download this from my channel. Um, just search for fog, smoke, and you'll find a lot of stuff. This should actually work. So the character throws this one and just works, I believe. Okay, cool. Now it's time for the um, cool stuff to happen a projectile. So, for that, I believe, if I remember correctly, I'm, it's been a while, I haven't worked with projectile stuff a lot. Creating a new blueprint, an actor, um, BP, magic. Project tile should be good. Add the magic shot to it. I want the effect to work. Okay, and a projectile movement. So the projectile movement should be, I mean, let's go ahead with something like of uh, the initial speed should be 2000, probably max speed 4000. Let's see what happens after that. Um, and then in our third person character, the, okay, I should Do a sequence here to see if I could get rid of. Not to the, see if I could get a cleaner code here. Oh, this one's not clean at all. Uh, and I'm going to spawn an actor. The actor is called Magic Projectile. Magic. Let's see. Magic Projectile. Uh, spawn transform. So maybe I could. Yeah, I know. Just, uh, maybe I could. Just want to see the character. Maybe I could use the um, mesh and the right hand sockets. I just don't know about the rotation. Maybe I could get the rotation from something else. Yeah, let's split it. Um, okay, so the location and scale is definitely one. The location is coming from the mesh, get socket location, um, the get bone location. Let's see if we have something like that. Bone location, get, yeah, it's the only thing we have. So I'm going to add a new socket, I guess. Right hand, 
where is the right hand or thumb or hand or okay right click add a socket it's called hand or control C if you double click on it you can copy it control C control V here La -la. so let's see if we can have the location but I want the rotation from something else maybe oh yeah this one's cool I have an arrow here so if you type in arrow and you can point it out at somewhere so I can just use the rotation from this one get rotation okay so is this world space okay it's gonna be world space get world rotation okay rotation goes in there and um, it should work now let's see it didn't work at all what happened where's where's my thing Message come, Kuni. Damn it, service. Now, I don't. So let's add a sphere to see if it's going somewhere. I don't know if it's too small or I have no idea what's happening. So I need to debug it right now. that thank you yep okay so the rotation is not cool at all so I need to do something about the rotation now no, I'm not going to be using this one so what I'm going to be using is I have to add a an arrow that's specifically created for this so I'm going to uh, it should go a little bit up and I think that will work pretty well. Get world on rotation. That should work. Or at least I hope it would work. Okay, this is good. this is good okay so now I I think I can um, make it smaller in size and um, this one should uh, let's see there's go lot of, there's there goes a lot of testing and debugging this stuff so huh Okay, so projectile, this should follow this sphere, I don't know why it's not following though. And also it should come in faster, so we go into scale color, uh, we make sure that this one's something around 2, so it's still not fast enough though. It's better, definitely better. Um, and then hmm. 
Maybe this one should be a little bit bigger. It's pretty small to be honest. 70, 90. See how it looks like. 70, 90. This is a random uniform though. So I found the problem. The problem was that um, let me get rid of this one. In my um, in my Niagara system, I should be having local space checked in both emitters. So these one these weren't checked. So make sure local space are checked. Now we have something that looks like yes, it looks horrible. I have to work on it a lot, but at least we have something. Okay, so let's start with the first important thing. We need a delay here. Um, a delay that's something like maybe a second. And now I have to go into the magic shot and um, increase the size again it's still too small for it uh, something really really huge to see if that makes a difference let's see okay that made a difference Okay, but it's <laughs> it's too late. Okay, um, so now we need something else. Let's see. Okay, it. It's not good enough. It should be bigger. It should come in sooner. And this should be faster. So, in uh, initialized particle, maybe one to two seconds. One to two seconds. Um, let's see. I don't need a warm up, so why is it warming up? So maybe I need a little bit less starting speed, something like that, and a little bit more speed doing that. <laughs> fell straight into the ground. Okay, that was awesome. Okay, that didn't work. 32,000 uh, It looks really good, but I want it to be sped up a little bit it just takes a very very long time to start I don't want it to distance call yep and loop duration should be 2 let's see if that makes any difference nope so let's start from here maybe that will do something for me
loop duration to let's see so I can right now I can just um, add this sphere back maybe because apparently there's no work around this one um, and it's a it's a huge pain to be honest and create a um a burning material for this sphere okay so I already created one I have a really really great burning material that's if I type in ghost here um yeah this one right here it's got a burning material in it I hope so yeah it does this piece right here I'll explain it to you later and I'll oh no I have to go into my story content materials um, right click material M um, fireball and I believe this should work should be on let okay so it's just a text recording going into the multiply and a panner with the speed of 0.1.1 minus uh, 0 0.05 minus 0 0.07 to a texture which is just a noise just type in texture sample sample and then find the noise in here and then smooth step um, Two smooth steps and then they got multiplied together and they multiplied by a color and they multiplied to go into, into the emissive color and the smooth step is like this this is just a um, scalar parameter to control it uh, I think right now I don't need a lot of that to be honest okay it looks not bad it looks it looks good uh, maybe I could use a little bit of a world position offset, so maybe we could, let's see what happens, nothing happens. Maybe using a 1- minus would do something. It does, a little bit, it's not too much. should use this to be honest maybe maybe multiplying it by something really weird would oh yeah it does something okay so this looks better than nothing uh, but these are pretty small to be honest so I have to do something about it okay this looks really good don't worry about this piece it's, it's just fine it's no problem um, it looks to be honest really good I just need to change this a bit maybe oh look at that okay this looks good that's too much. Let's see. I mean, it's still too much. It shouldn't be that bad. Uh, okay, this looks a little bit better. Um, so I found it in the browser and then in the um, magic project. Okay. Hmm. Do you think it will work just fine? It should be a bit better though. This is a lot. I don't want the, this amount. So maybe 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Okay, this looks a little bit better. I hope the 
Okay, this is good. Let's see. Save everything up. I see if it works. I hope it works though. Oof. That was cool. That was cool as hell. But it goes up a lot. I don't need it like that. So maybe something like this would be better. Okay, that was cool. That is super, super doper. Cool. Okay, I need it a little bit. Um, I need more MC in it, probably. So, I'm sorry, I need more. Okay, this is better. This is a lot better. Okay, that's super cool. Maybe the um, this one should be. You know, I don't. I don't need this. But this one should be again a lot bigger to see if it's any better. <laughs> it looks cool Yeah, it looks really good Okay, so now if what if this sphere hits something we go down on component hit Let's see if it is Giving us back anything to be honest It's not Mm -mm. Yeah, it's just because I have forgotten something. It needs to uh, simulate simulation generates hit uh, hit events. This is pretty important. So if I do it, it should have worked by now. Okay, but it doesn't. So apparently there's a pretty strange bug in Unreal Engine 5 that this doesn't work. You can have the um, uh, the sphere replace the root, but again, it will give you some hit results, but the physics doesn't really work. So instead I have to, I mean I did this, if I simulate physics as well and let's see if it doesn't work, if it, this does not work I have to do it manually. So magic project file. Let's see. It should give me a hit result. Okay, it does it does work actually. That's super cool. Okay, so all I had to do was to so you have a um let me see. So for example blueprint effect fire. No, not this one. fly object for example you have a default scene root okay you you gotta get rid of this one just drag your sphere into this like this okay that's gonna fix the uh, whole thing and then afterwards all you have to do is go to, to the sphere simulate physics and then you can have it generate hit results as well because we want to know whether it hits something or not yeah look at that
it's generating some results. And that's super cool. Okay. Um. So now I believe we need a little bit of more force. So maybe 35 would do the job. And I wanted to go a little bit left. So a little bit left, that's cool, so let's see. It's giving me the result and it's cool, it's super good. That's super good. But I want to destroy it once it hits something. I guess that's the best way to handle it because um, I want to spawn a Niagara system at that point and then uh, Niagara actor spawn Niagara spawn system at location okay uh, and just to test things I have to um, later on we have to create an explosion effect as well so in my particle effect I just wanna um, no not this I couldn't really see this five point what's five point okay that's cool five point one and then, uh, after it's done, I have to destroy Actor because I don't want to um, some performance problems later. Oh, let's destroy it now. Maybe we need a little bit of delay. So I believe it's hitting the um, third person character so I have to make sure that if it's failing to cast to third person character then third person character cast to third person character if it's casting to the third person character because I know that third person character is me so I don't want it to hit me <laughs> that wouldn't make sense so what about now yes it works pretty well but where's the hmm. so I don't need the delay but where's the oh what about the location I, I forgot to split okay normal hit other actor, um, yeah, I want the hit results, break hit results, and then I want the location and rotation, doesn't matter. So, what about now? I want it here. What did it hit? Definitely didn't hit here. Uh, yeah, it's gone. But why is it spawning the thing here? That's weird. Okay, this worked. This worked as well. But oh yeah, those are working too. That's awesome. Okay. I already had created some effect for it um, but before that I believe we need a camera shake as well camera shake is pretty important so when I do that when I um, spawn the actor I need a camera shake as well 
so it gets camera manager manager and then um, play camera shake play sh shake Camera, ah, I can't remember it. So I believe I've used it a lot in, um, for example, in my hit or in my get hit. A start camera shake. Okay. Um, I can just copy and paste this one. Uh, start camera shake. BP hit shake scale is probably um, a little less. If you don't know how to create a ca uh, camera shake, it's pretty easy. Just right click, um, blueprint class, type in shake. I've used the legacy shake, legacy camera shake, and then you just have to go inside it. I've used, uh, I mean, everything's a default value to be honest. Yeah. I just used um, a little bit of this, a little bit of uh, rot in yaw, and that's it. The duration is 0.5, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. So after using a camera shake, I need an explosion, and I need to know whether there's someone around me. So. Maybe I could. Hmm. So I need to create a custom event. I'm destroying the actor. How can I do that? Can I destroy this? I can actually, yeah. Destroy component instead of actor is. Uh, makes more sense actually and then I'll need a um, multi sphere trace by channel um, so my channel is called zombie I've created a new channel you can do that by going to project settings uh, and uh, where was it Project settings Physics, yeah, physics. No, it's not physics, it's collision. Collision, and then you can just new trace channel, default response. I uh, did it to ignore, and then I'm using it on my enemies. So all my enemies have this channel, and I can easily trace them. So the start and end are the same radius is something like 2000 I don't want to ignore anyone I want everyone to be in it and uh, let's see I want to see what happens Hmm, no one was there. That's cool. Okay, so someone's there. Let's see. But didn't get him. I don't want to. Um, didn't happen. So what should I do? I need someone else. Someone's there. Let's see. Huh, didn't get him. That's pretty weird. So the trace channel is zombie. Um let me see. I need to make sure it's correct. Uh, the capsule component is set to block the zombie, so it should block it. And the trace channel is zombie, but 
maybe just because oh so you know what no it's doing that I need to use a branch and then do a front screen actually I have to uh, for each loop and then use a print screen to see how many people are in there okay one one that's okay that's all that's awesome actually okay one is here as well one that's cool okay it's it's working so now I want them to die um, I already created something for them so I'm going to get some inspiration from that uh, in my power I have to cast to my zombie AI and then I have to use the normals and die magic explosion would be cool as well but I don't need this one hmm like this okay I have some uh, explosion sound as well okay I need this Accept this I don't need this one so I have to cast it to my actor to the actor I'm targeting and then I already created some die in it okay is uh, break its result object is this one if I'm being correct I hope so yeah I am it's okay and then um, this goes into the hit impulse impact location where was it yeah, impact normal X impact normal so impact normal, normal this goes in here this goes in there and this is for the Z value um, this will be I say 2000 because it's a power move it's gotta be really strong and for the die, I created some effects. Some it's like these are for my uh, own logic, my own system logic, some collision stuff. And then I want them to simulate ragdoll, so I have to set the collision profile name to simulate. Set simulate physics to true. Add impulse, and impulse is coming from the X Y Z that I just created. Uh, this one and. Delay and I'm going to reactivate them because I don't want to. In, if you're working on mobile, you don't want to destroy and spawn actors too much. It's going to cause a lot of lags. And this one should work just fine, I believe. This piece of code here makes it like wherever the impact happens based on the angle. <laughs> The zombie will just get thrown the other way, so that's pretty cool. It's like a real, real explosion. And instead of this, I want the 
magic explosion to this just for test I, we have to create a new explosion effect there's no other way okay no one was there I guess or was it? I need someone Give me someone. There's no one in here. Ah, uh, there's someone. Okay. It's that. Yay. It worked. That's awesome. But why did it? Consistent location. Let me get rid of this one. Why? I just deleted it. Because I haven't deleted. Okay. Yeah, I, I see. Something because of this, I have to delete this component as well. Delete this component as well. I didn't delete this, so I have to get rid of this as well. And then, when everything's done, we need to destroy the actor as well. Maybe after three, five seconds, it depends on the explosion. Destroy actor. Actually, the effect is not bad. It just needs to be... It just needs to be a lot bigger. A lot bigger than this. A lot, I mean, a lot bigger than this. Okay, so maybe I should work on that. Um, this one's cool. So, what about the. Uh, so, they are dying. Oh, when this happens, um, I need another camera shake as well. Because in the end, it's just a explosion right an explosion has a shock wave so when the explosion happens I need a camera shake which is pretty strong uh, yes and then I need a sound a place sound at location that is cool enough okay explosion one is better these are actually I'm using these sounds in this story content these are not it nothing fancy so let's see it should be Hmm. The attenuation setting. Maybe volume multiplier should be higher. Um. So now I needed to. 
add an impulse to me as well if it's hitting me. So maybe a radial force will hmm, will do just good. The radial, I know. Radial force. No, don't do that. Radial force should be bigger at two thousand is the value I'm looking for. The impulse strength maybe five. Um, and now I have to I already created it this one so I maybe I don't remember it pretty well so I have to get some inspiration here fire impulse okay so now I need to fire an impulse as well so if I'm near it it pushes me a little bit backwards or at least this is what I hope for. <laughs> it doesn't push me backwards. Okay. That's cool. So maybe I could do the zombie thing in myself as well. Maybe I should do it the zombie and maybe I should kill myself as well. So a sequence here. Sequence. And the second one will be third person character. Person character. Uh, get player. Oh no, I don't need that. Hit actor. Uh, this one got comes here and then um, get hit is my okay get hit get hit enemy power enemy power should be a lot not a lot though uh, maybe 200 would be nice or a hundred hmm Okay. Hundred and again like this we will use this as a reference. So if we accidentally blow ourselves up we should pay for it. Right. Let's see. Yes, I died. That's cool. But where did I go? I shouldn't have this one, the fire impulse. And power. And yeah, a hundred should be nice though. Let me see, I have to see what's happening inside it. What did it do to me? <laughs> okay, it's too much. Too much. Okay, so... Get hit. So the... Add impulse. So get hit is definitely using a lower number here. So I have to find out what's the number. If they're able to kill the player, it 
That's a pretty big number. I don't really get I don't get it, really. That's a huge number. Maybe that's happened for everyone. eradicated myself instead of the people around me so I should maybe multiply by something really really small to see if that's gonna work I don't think so though Okay, that's better. That's a lot better than before. But still too much. Maybe 0 0.05 would do the job. Let's see. much but it's so funny you know oh okay that didn't look good <laughs> it should go a little bit higher in the z value but less in the x and y value Okay, so it should be minus, minus 0.2. just I don't need the knob I don't know the number and I have to find out what number works best for me <laughs> just killed me It's a lot, to be honest. A lot, still too much. Doesn't need to be this much. Okay, this is better.
I believe I should be safe throwing this far. It doesn't it doesn't make sense. So instead of using the sequence here, I will use the sequence here. I don't need this anymore. And um I'll do another I don't need this uh, multi-sphere, so I need a, just a sphere trace by channel uh, and my third person character doesn't need to have the zombie checked so just be pawn that may make some problems for us later on and then it could be visibility and doesn't matter the location is still the same same and the radius should be something like a thousand thousand trace complex I don't want to ignore anyone and then bracket results branch if it's getting anything the branch is pretty important though I don't want to always use a for loop so if it's not hitting anything we don't need to really process anything and now I need to if it's hitting something It should be this, but is it going to actually? Because before that, it's gonna hit the ground or some walls or don't know. Let's see. Mm, yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, so now I have to create a new collision specifically for this. As much as I hate to do it, but I have to a new trace channel. Or do I not have anything specifically for this? I have pawn. Yeah, I have pawn. So that's cool. But pawn is not custom, so I have to create a pawn. Layer and it's ignore for everyone. Um, uh, okay, player CH, it should be custom, player CH should be blocked, and we will going to be tracing player CH. Okay, this should work. Yes, it worked. Now let's see if it kills me. Nope. What about this? No. Yes, it did. Okay, if I'm too close to it, it will just kill me instantly. Ah, that's that's too good. So now, the effect. First of all, I want the explosion radius to be bigger. I want the player to actually feel the power and feeling the power so I have to right now um, right click duplicate my effect and have an actual explosion 
in this explosion. Okay, so now is the time to create something. This effect looks good. It's just I need one of it. You know. Okay, I need only one. And it needs to be a hell lot bigger. 5,000 to 8,000. It needs to be higher. Now I need more than that. I need something like five, and I need to change the location. So it shouldn't be a sphere, it should be. Cylinder, maybe. And the height is um, five, the radius is two, two, okay. Height midpoint 50, 500, minus 500 to get them a little bit higher. It's high minus 300. I guess it's a little bit too much. 500. A thousand fifteen hundred looks better. So, what about this? I need this to be a lot bigger fifty to two hundred, and I need them to. the gravity to be a lot higher So it, show, it shows you that it's doing something, it's no joke. Um, this should... Um, two, four, two, three. And this scale, uh, this scale color should be one. I want something big. Uh, the texture is created by uh, Niagara fluids, by the way. Let's see. I guess it looks really good at the moment. What do we have to see? Mm, I didn't change. <laughs> I have to change it here. So it's... I didn't see anything, did you? 
Oof, that was cool. But it's a little bit too much. So, start off with this. Um, the gravity. It should be minus five thousand, minus five thousand. Um, yep, yep, yep. Oh no. Okay. And they should be a little bit smaller. And this should be smaller. Sorry, too big. And lower. Minus 200. Oh, and um, radius should be at least half of it. Okay, what about now? Should look should look already a, a thousand times better than it how it was. <laughs> it doesn't look bad. Texture, I mean, texture is a little bit low quality, so I have to change the texture's quality a little bit. I mean, as much as I don't want to. It's already five megabytes. Yeah, I guess. Let's see if it makes any difference just to test things. It did. It did make a difference. But I can't afford it, it's just too much. So 2048 is the way to go for me at the moment. I do, I'm sorry, but it's just too much. So how can I get it better? I have another effect here, it's just a wave effect. Maybe I can make this one bigger. Radius should be bigger. This should be bigger. The uh, force should be bigger. Minus three hundred, three hundred. Uh, too much, I guess. Two hundred. Minus 200. It's too big. A thousand. Okay, let's see. That's better. That's better. Yeah, <laughs> I, I like it. And it didn't kill me ASAP, but it kills me here if I do that. It doesn't play the sound though. should be a little bit lower. These explosion effects should be a little bit lower and 
Minus 150, maybe. That's awesome. I believe we have something we can work with. Um, okay, so last step, uh, we did everything, everything's okay. So here, when I'm spawning the actor and the camera shake, I need to have some other... I can add some cinematic effects as well if I want to. But do I need to? I don't, I guess. Location. Quantum core. I need this. I need to know if the character, if they have the quantum core needed for it, or I can just drag this one here. They don't have it. Quantum core is the um, currency we're using to do the power moves. If they don't have it, then they can't use it. If they have it, uh, they can use it actually. And we need this as well. But I have, I created another objective in the last episode that if we are in the objective, then you don't need to use a quantum core. But if we are not in the objective, then you have to use the quantum core. Okay, I guess this should fix everything. So this is 44, if I'm using it, it gets 43. And it looks good. And um, so now we have two magics magic selection. This is the magic one. If I select the magic zero, the magic will be different. Yeah. Um, so this is something to note because later on we'll have a shop that the uh, player will be able to swap between the magics in that uh, pray uh, in that place. One last touch I want to add is this one. If it's hitting something. If it's hitting something, I want the uh, I want to set the global dot, uh, time dilation 
so it's a little bit more cinematic. Okay, so if it's doing that, let's do a sequence. And then I'll come down here. I can do it like that. So sometimes if I'm hitting something, sometimes it gets slow motion and it's a little bit more cinematic. It looks a little bit better. No one's there. No one's here as well, I guess. I guess someone's here. But I can't hit him. Yeah, I, did you see this slow motion? That was cool. <sighs> okay. So, everything's done. And um, this was it. It was a pretty lengthy one because we covered a lot in this episode. And um, if you haven't downloaded the game yet, yet, please go ahead and download it. Play it for free. Enjoy while uh, playing it. And if you have any feedbacks, please um, reach out to me. Tell me to fix things together. Thank you.